Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing a bonus problem, uh, one that I haven't seen before. Uh, so let's let RNG take care of it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Ooh, we have a juicy hard problem today. Haven't done it yet. 2371, minimize maximum value in a grid. Um, just want to point out that this is Monday, April 15, uh, tax day. Happy tax day, everybody, I guess. I didn't even realize. So I, I should have mentioned in the other video. But um, yeah, uh, I just want to take this opportunity to mention my other, um, my, my other channel, Looking Up. It has a couple of just like mindset type things and problem solving type things. Today, uh, I have a new video about streaks. Uh, my streak is on lead code is 1477 and how to take advantage of it. I don't know. Is it interesting? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in uh, in the comments and in, in that channel. And also, you know, just hopefully it's just pretty New York, if nothing else. That's how I like to keep it. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this problem. Uh, but actually, let me, uh, I forgot to do this. But let me get a water real quick. Oh, please. Uh, all right, you're given an M by N integer matrix grid with distinct positive integers. In, anyway, integers. You have to replace these each integer in the matrix. Okay, the relative order of every two elements should stay the same. The maximum number of matrix num should be as small as possible. So, okay. So we're basically trying to minimize the maximum number, right? If there are multiple answer. Okay. Uh, whenever I see this maximum number thing and we're trying to minimize it, the first thing I try to think about is, is, um, is, uh, what you might call it? Uh, what am I saying? Is uh, 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 binary search, binary search. Sorry, I had it in my head, but I, I don't know why. But uh, is that the right one for this problem? I mean, you certainly could do it, but it, but the other, the only other thing that I can think about, if it's not binary search, is greedy, right? And that means just doing it in order, right? Um, the way that I have it in my head is not that hard, but that's the problem with greedy is that sometimes. The greedy solution is not hard, and unfortunately, it is wrong, right? And that is just to kind of go do it in order, right? Meaning that we, we do all the ones and the twos first. Oh, they're all distinct, huh? Okay. So, yeah, so... Then it, uh, my my edge case would have been just like numbers that are not distinct, which complicates things a lot. But now, if all the numbers are distinct, then we should just do them in order. I don't think there's any reason why you should you would not. I'm trying to think whether there there is like a, a triangle type uh, of like a something that's similar to a circular dependency, such that it messes things up. Um, I think that's the only thing that I would worry about. Uh, and, I, and it might be that I, I cannot come up with it, and it, it's still wrong, but it's just that it would cost me a wrong answer, which is maybe fine. Maybe it's learning. Um, hmm. Yeah, I cannot type this now. Okay. But yeah, my idea is still just, um, yeah, just sorting and doing them in order. And... And yeah, and that's it, right? So here, maybe my, my thing that I would write is, um, okay, so rows is equal to say, um, zero times R, columns is equal to zero times C. So these are like the next number for each of the rows and the columns, right? And then now we just have all the things. So for X in range R, for Y in range of C, right? We have grid of X, Y, we have uh, X, Y, right? So let's put that in a, Tuple. I just call it spaces for I don't know, right? Oops, why did I do it that way? Oops. Uh, so and then now we could do a sort, so that now everything should be sorted. And because everything is distinct, we don't have to worry about other dependencies. I think that's the thing that could be tricky, right? 
and then now okay um, let's just say answer is you go to do, 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 none times C all right and then now um, now we just do the space one by one right because we, we already know that we get it in order we actually need to just do for x y in spaces right um, so then now we get the next number that's in rows and columns right so row sub x co uh, column sub y so we get the max of these two plus one is going to be the next number that we're using so we'll just call just call it now for the now right so then answer of x y is equal to now and then now row sub x is equal to now uh, and then we update it to up to that and that's that's my idea for greedy it should work for the example cases, but uh, unless I'm like off by one or something, but yeah, but I don't know that this is right to be honest, but let's give it some minute. Maybe we get wrong answer and then we'll learn something from it. Huh, okay. I mean, I I, I knew this way the entire way. The, the only two things that I was worried about, right? One is is the non-uniqueness. If, 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 if this problem did, did not um, limit you by distinct integers, then then it could like very easily um i mean then you do kind of the same thing but you you do it over all of them but i don't know if um that would have been this no i think it's still the same way but otherwise it's just a sorting problem phrased in a different way and yeah and the tricky thing is just to make sure that when you have a row and a column in the stack you have to get the next number that's doing it. and and i think the idea even behind that is pretty straightforward it's just the implementation and having the right data structure, um, which I don't know. I mean, I've done enough problems, I suppose. But yeah, um, what's the complexity here, right? It's just dominated by sorting. Everything else is linear, right? Linear, 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 linear. And this is technically sublinear. Uh, this is linear and this is sorting. So it's going to be n log n or r, r times c log r times c. So yeah. Um, Pretty straightforward for a hard problem. I actually expected a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think maybe because it's a hard problem that I exp that's why I was like, huh. I don't know. I I, I second guessed myself um, a bit for this problem only because I thought it would be more difficult. But but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.